Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be cracking open 100 Chilling Ring packs. It is finally live on PDCGO. I'm freaking excited. Of course guys, if you're going to go pick up any Chilling Rain codes for yourself, make sure to go get them over at Card Cabin, link down below. If you get any codes over at Card Cabin, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF. They will be selling Chilling Rain codes for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to pick up those Chilling Rain codes, make sure to head them over at Card Cabin. Without further ado, let's open up these 100 packs. I'm looking for quite a bit of stuff. Um, I do want to get some Blazikins. might be the first video I do. Shadow Rider would be pretty good, too. There's a lot of stuff. Without further ado, let's get into it now. I do actually have to... Let me just get a quick screenshot here. Boom. And just for the thumbnail. All right. There we go. Screenshot taken. And let's open this baby up. 100 packs to open up. I'm excited. Let's see what we end up pulling in the first pack here. We get a Venipede and our... Oh! Yo! First pack, we get a freaking Full Art Articuno. Yo! That's so sick. Let's go. Now, in my opinion, I think this bird is the worst of the birds, but it's still a pretty good pull. I actually really like the artwork. I think the pink-purple blends really well with the yellow. We actually also got a Path to the Peak, which is good. We definitely want to pick up a play set of these. It's one of the best cards in the entire set. Once we get down to 328 packs, that is when we know the pack opening is done. Now let's see what's in this next pack here. We get a Saviper and Avery. Avery's pretty good against Eternatus, and then Saviper could be a fun deck. There's quite a few rogues in this deck. One thing I was thinking about, I was going through the scans yesterday, and I was like, there's more, like, the set's actually not as big as you might think. And here's why. Let's open up this pack real quick. Rillaboom, Hollow. This is actually a decent card. I like it. The Rapid Strike. Uh, but the reason why the set is a bit smaller is because a large chunk of the cards are actually just full arts and secret rares and stuff. So it's like, yeah, not as many new cards as we were expecting. It's all good, though. This is still a bit of a banger of a set. Let's see how many hits we can get. I'm hoping for some Shadow Riders. That's going to be a very expensive card. Ooh, Lycan Rock Hollow is pretty good. Definitely wanted to get one of those for any future videos. Yeah, so we definitely want to pick up as many Shadow Rider VMAXs. And zap those because those are money cards. All right, we get a Ampharos. We actually get a Spirit Tomb. Now, this card could be the answer to Mad Party, even though Mad Party is already a dying archetype. I don't think this card is going to be that good, to be honest. But yeah, I just don't think Mad Party has it in it to be so good that Spirit Tomb will see play. It's not terrible, though. Ooh, we got our first Melanie here. Very good card with Ice Rider. And the rare is another Spirit Tomb. We got a Versalo Curlio, which is nice. That is a pretty good card. When combined with Gardevoir. Terrence Conviction. And the rare is a Shaman. A little callback to Shaman EX. The most recent card that got banned. But this card's not not good. <laughs> I was about to say not bad, but it's not good. Uh, we did get a Lucky Energy. Actually, I do like this energy quite a bit. Um, it's it's so niche, but it's actually kind of decent. Um, that's Five Gloves. This is another decent card. This could be good with Urshifu to one-shot Eternatus. Terrence Conviction is also pretty good. Um, not a bad pack. Uh, so far, we've only got one hit. We are almost 10 packs in. Hopefully, we can pick it up. Ooh, we got a, a Rapid Strike Urshu Hollow here. Okay, I'll take it. All right, we are now... This is the 10th pack. We've only got one card, one hit so far. The Articuno Full Art. And the next... Ooh, Gengar. All right, I'll take it. That's a pretty decent card. And we got a Zabstrika. Second Malony is always nice. I'll take it. The Gengar is pretty cool. It's always nice to get Gengars. I don't think we've ever had, like, an unplayable Gengar before in a while. Golurk, and the rare is a Walrein. Okay. Yeah. Bit of a dud of a pack there. We got another Melanie, I guess. We already got three Melanies. Damn. All right, let's see what the next hit is. We got... Hey, we got another V. We got a Volcanian V. Not that great of a card. Still going to make it work, though, for a video. Don't worry. I'm going to do a video on most of these cards. It is a single strike, so don't forget you can pair it with other single strike cards. A.K. Houndoom, single strike energy, power of darkness... Scroll of Scorn, which actually synergized well with attack. We get a, a Slurpuff. That's an interesting card. And then we get another Curlia. The more Curliers we get, the better. I'm expecting the Gardevoir deck to be a bit of a fun one. All right, this next pack, we get a Reverse Hollow Porygon. And the rare is a Hatterene. All right. Okay, nothing special there. Uh, yeah. So, two hits so far. Hmm. We'll see how the rest of this goes. I think my, my Battle Styles pack was, was pretty good. Ooh, look at that. We got a Gallade. Now, this is an awesome card. I'm very happy we got a Gallade in the format. Very similar to Glissopod, but does 60 damage for V in play. We got Rodriguez, which is kind of cool, too. 
a lot of text on it. I'm not going to go through every single card, or else we'll be here all day, <laughs> you know. Um, let's go over the really good cards. And the next pack is a... <gasps> oh, my God. We got the alternate art, right? Yeah, that's the alternate art. We got the alternate art Articuno. So we've gotten a full art Articuno. Then we've gotten the alternate art Articuno. I'll take it. You know what? Again, I, I think this is the worst of three birds. Still actually a playable card. Like, it's not bad by any means. Um, this card might actually be really good and expanded. It might have actually given Donk some potential, which really sucks. Okay, so we've gotten two Articunos. This game really wants to give me Articuno. I mean, whatever. I'll take it. Hoping we pull one of these two bad boys, though. All right, next rare is... What are we going to get? How many Path Peaks do we pull? I think we've played one. Hey, Reverse Hall Porygon. Or Hollow Porygon, sorry. That's a really nice artwork. That is a nice artwork right there. That background is actually sick. That's a, that's a pretty damn good Hollow artwork, for sure. All right, Versal Melanie. That's good. We got a Zangoose here. All right, not bad. Again, we're not going to go through every card I want to, but again, if, you know, I don't want this video to be an hour long. Um, Versal Bayonet and a Sculpede. All righty then. Bayonet's not bad. Bayonet's kind of playable. Bayonet's decent. Here we go. Next pack in. Ooh, we got our first Old Cemetery. Whenever you're... Whenever you player any attaches an energy from one of, from their hand to one of their non psych Pokemon, put two damage on it. So that could be a bit of an annoying card. Um, ooh, we got our first Weezing. Smog Burst, doing 20 damage for each dark energy on all your Pokemon, you know? Greninja Zork's little brother. That's another Weezing. We have so many Weezings in standard now. It's actually insane. And our next rare. Hey, we got our first Simeon. This is a big card we want to make sure we do have. This is a very good card in Rapid Strike decks. So we definitely want to have a couple of those. Here we go. We're almost out of the 400 packs. We're not halfway through yet, but let's see how many more hits we can get. It's versus all Curlia. All right. What are we looking at in this pack here? Double rare again. We got Volcarona and another Lycanroc. All right. I mean, both cards are semi-playable. I guess Volcarona is not terrible. Double rare again. We got Peanut or Walraid and Golurk. All right. Hmm. So the hits have not been super good. We've gotten the two Articunos, the full art and the alternate art, not the regular art, which is nice. All right. Ooh, we got our first Fawcross. So that's another card we need to get a playset of. Oh, okay, another Weezing, a Beedrill. We got a lot of the uh, playable rares, but we'll slow on the Vs and Vmax pulls for sure. And we got another Egg Raw. We did get a Rapid Strike Scroll of Skies. That's not a bad card for Rapid Strike deck, especially uh, Luxray or something. Or is there Aura? Yeah, Zero Aura could play. Zero Aura could take advantage of it. Versus Hollow Deerling. Oh, look at that, bro. We got the evolutionary line in the same pack. We got a Sawsbuck and a Deerling in the same pack, bro. Best pack ever. All right. Yeah, 401 packs remaining. Well, not open up, but left in total. Another Rapid Striker, True Hollow. All right. Here we go. Can we get another hit? Any Shadows, maybe? Shadow Rider one time, bro. All right, double rare. We get a Ampharos. Hey, let's go. We got air first. VMAX. We got a Santa Conda VMAX. Rainbow Rare. I'm not a big fan of the Rainbow Rares. I'll take it, though, because it's at least a hit. It's a VMAX, and it's one of my... Well, it's not the best VMAX in the set, but it's still actually not a bad VMAX at all. So this I will definitely take. Yeah, definitely will take that. Santa Conda's a good hit. We will take it. And, hey, another Path to Peak. How many of those do I have? Hey, let's go. We got it at first Inteleon. This is definitely a card we want to pick up a playset of. We got two Path to Peaks. All right, we need a playset of those. Let's see if we can get four Path to Peaks by the end of the pack opening. Okay, double rare, or not, never mind. Another wall rain, bro. All right, the greatest pull. Santa is kind of cool, though. Again, we really want to get Zapdos and Shadow Rider. Those are like the two cards that are going to be worth quite a bit on pubs. Um, yeah, definitely those are the two big pulls we want to get is Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, and Galarian Zapdos V. No, we get a double rare. Again, we get some Viper and some Striker. We got another Fog Crystals. We got two of those. We definitely need to pick up a playset of those. We need to pick up at least, we need four. I know the secret rare frog crystal in the set, so that'd be a cool pull to get. Hey, oh, holy crap, let's go. We got the alternate art Zapdos. Holy crap. Yo, that is such a good hit because this is like the best version of the Zapdos. Again, this card is amazing. It is such a good counter to Eternatus. This is just a good card in general. It doesn't even have to be like to beat Eternatus. Like the more Vs that start seeing more play, the better this card will get, especially when rotation hits, bro. This alternate art Zapdos it's an amazing artwork because this man's be road running up the mountain. It's also the best version of this card. This is like the alternate art rapid strike Urshifu of the set. Right? No, Shadow Rider Calyrex would be that. But this is like very close because this is like the second best Pokemon in the set. 
Um, so yeah, I, I can't believe we actually pulled that. That's insane. That's two alternate arts already. We've got two alternate art pulls. That is pretty good. Considering I have not even pulled a single alternate art rapid strikers who or single strikers who at all in battle styles. Like I, I've opened up probably 300 plus, not a single one. I haven't even opened up 50. I've already pulled two alternate arts and we got one of the best alternate arts we could have gotten. That's pretty hype. That's some hype right there. All right, what's in this pack here? Double rare again. Back to back. Mm, no back to back. We got a Cobalion and a Kecleon. All right. The Zapdos is... I'm excited about that. That's a really good pull. Might be a might be a pretty expensive card on Pops. I don't think I'm going to trade it. Oh, let's go. We got a Blaziken VMAX. This is one of the cards I wanted to pull because this card is awesome. It's one of my favorite cards in the set. I think this card is really underrated because it's a fire type, which means it can attack Zacian and Zamzento the Phoebe. I think this card is amazing. One of the best cards, maybe not one of the best cards in the set. I, got, I had an, I had it like as an honorable mention uh, in my Chilling Rain Top 5 video I did at Karn Cabin. So this card would probably be around number 7 or 8 probably in terms of how good. Got another Melanie. All right. The pulls are starting to pick up. We got a Noldor Zapdos and a Blaziken VMAX. Two cards I really wanted. Okay. Sauce Puck, another Bayonet. 390 packs. So we have roughly about 80 packs left to go. Some, some 80, 70 packs. Double Saviper in the same pack. I mean, sure. How many of these do we got? We got a place at a Lucky Energy. I'm telling you, that card is not bad. I don't think that card is bad at all. Being able to draw a card when they hit you is not terrible. Carbomitable, Reverse Hall, and the rare is another Astola P. All right, 388 packs. Here we go. It's going to be in this one. Cast form. Oh, we did pick up a place at those cast forms. Hey, we got another VMAX. We got Celebi VMAX. Not the greatest card ever, but you know what? I still like it. I think the ability is actually pretty powerful. Being able to heal 20 damage from each of your grass Pokemon is good. Considering grass Pokemon have Maulanas and Carol, Egg Rouse attack. It's pretty good. It's like a worse Vileplume, but Vileplume GX is a stage 2. This card could be cool and expanded with Life Force on top of it. If Life Force is still in standard, this card would be kind of cool. I will take a Celebi, though. I'm excited to, to mess around with, with Celebi a little bit. For sure. Another Melanie. Hey, we got our first Hollow Galarian Slowking here. How many Melanies? We got a play set of Melanies, plus I think two Reverse Hollows. So I could probably trade off a few Melanies for a couple packs. Speaking of which, will we pull one of the uh, Calyrexes here anytime soon? What is that timing, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go! We got our first Shadow Rider again. This is easily the best card in the set. And uh, probably going to be the most expensive card to pick up. Oh, well, the alternate art will be the most expensive for sure, but... Now, that's a hype pull. And right as I said it, bro, that's insane. Let's go. We got our first Shadow Rider. We need to pick up a play set of the... We need four of them. Like, on Rapid Strikers, so you really only needed, like, three. You could probably get away with two, but you need at least four of these for a deck. So, we need to get a lot of them. This card's going to be hella expensive. Um, I will take it, though. That is definitely one of the cards we needed. Okay, this pack opening has really improved. Really, really improved. Another Gallade is awesome. We've got another Melanie. The more Melanies I get, the better. That's probably the best... Supporter, we can trade off for packs. Another Far Crystal got Weezing. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Yeah, this pack opening has actually been pretty decent so far. Definitely been good. Hey, let's go. We got our first Gardevoir in the set. Shining Arcana. Great ability. This is a great card. It's, I mean, still kind of underpowered, but that ability is awesome. The fact that it has Curly and Gallied with it, it's a pretty good card, but we'll see how playable it is for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh, we need to get Zero Aura. I'm gonna need to get a couple of those. That'd be good. Got Agar, another Volcarona. All right, we almost have about... We're almost halfway through. I think, yeah. Somewhere around there. Oh, let's go. We got an Alternate Art Slowking V. Funny enough, I actually have that IRL. I will take it. Definitely the best version of Slowking to pull. We got another Fokker, so we got a place out of those. So any extras I can uh, trade off, which is pretty good. I'd love to see it. Next pack in, we get another Shiman. 379 packs. We have about, we're almost halfway through. We have, yeah, we're, we're nearly halfway through. Another Volcarona. Okay, after this pack, we are going to be at the halfway point of the pack opening. Clara. Another Gengar, cool. Okay, Aegon, not bad. We got Haunter and Gengar in the same pack. So now, we are halfway through, so 50 packs in, we've pulled Alderaan Zapdos and Shadow Rider. Pretty good pulls. Those are definitely two cards we needed. Um, got Slurpuff and Spirit Tomb. Hey, another Path of Peak. We can get extra... Path of Peak is another big card we can trade off for packs. That's another big one. We definitely want to get more of those. 
Okay, we got another cast form. Another Gallade. I'll take it. Uh, again, really playable card. Like, this card doesn't even have to be played with Gardevoir. It's just that good of a card. Um, Old Cemetery. Okay. Cool beans. 375 packs. Let's see if this next half can be better than the first half. Mm, we got Zerud. I'll take it. Reverse Hall Sneasel Rapid Strike is kind of cool. I'll take it for sure. Let's see if we can get any fuller supporters. Another, we haven't pulled a fuller supporter yet. And, all right, we got a fourth Gallade. And we got a place out of them. We got our first Welcoming Lantern. Put a single strike supporter from your discard in your hand. You know what? You want to play a Bruno engine, bro. There you go. There you go. Via Seeker for Bruno. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Bruno's a good supporter. That could be really good in single prize decks. Could be good in single prize decks. All right, our rare is. All right, we got a third Articuno. This game really wants to give me Articunos. I'll take it, for sure. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible card. But yeah, we got a lot of Articunos now. Next pack in. We got a Zangoose again. We got a fifth Gallade. We got our first Echoing Horn. It's another big card we want to pull because this card... I mean, unfortunately, this card kind of makes ADP a little, a little too powerful. But, I mean, we'll have to see how ADP adapts to the new meta. But that card just makes ADP a little broken. <laughs> not going to lie. And our rare is... We got two Shadow Riders. Now, that is what we're talking about. We need as many of these as we can pull because, again, very good card. Most expensive card in the set. It's probably going to be like 20 plus packs on pubs right now. I haven't even checked pubs. This is probably going to be an expensive fast card on pubs. We need to get as many of these as we can. And I will take a second one now. That is good. That's good. That's beautiful. That's what we want to see. Love to see it. We'll see what's in this next pack here. Double rare again. We got a Shaman again. And we got another Saviper. We pulled a lot of Savipers, man. And a lot of Vipers. What's our next pull? Hey, we got our first Malamar. It's a nice little card. It's a little, definitely a fun little card there. There's a lot of like fun little rogue decks out of this set. Okay, we got Ladian. Not bad. Bolurk. I'll take it. No, I won't. It's not that good. Okay, that was that was a pretty that was a dud. That pack was a dud. Another welcoming lantern's nice. Got our first single striker true. Not a bad card. All right, 366 packs. We have about 40-ish packs left, something like that. We got Serena. We got Weezing. Oh, we almost got the full Serena line in the same pack. That would have been kind of hilarious. Mm -hmm. That have been kind of hilarious. Another path to peak. All right, we got our play set. And we got a Cresselia. All right, now this is a good pack. We got Cresselia, Hollow. Definitely want to pick some of those up. The big one is we got the path to peak, though. Because now we got a playset. So any more we can pull, we can trade off for packs. And I guarantee you, I can get a couple packs for just one path of peak. Like, the card is just that good. Alright, double rare. Let's see if we get a V. No, we get a reverse Gallade. It's nice. And we got another Rapid Strike Urshifu. Alright, I actually don't even know if we pulled the the Urshifu's pre-evolution. Furfro, alright, yo. Can we get a hit in this pack one time? Mm, no, alright, we got another single strike. How many Cub Foos have I pulled, bro? Yeah, I'm confused. We won't pull one? What? Yo, how have we pulled one Kubfu? Alright. Let's see. What's in this pack? Double rare. Ooh, the, they lagged? That means it's a hit? Alright, it's a hit. It's a Celebi. I'll take it. It's a hit, at least. We got both the Weavile and the Celebi in the same pack. Two decent cards. How many old cemeteries? We got a play set of those now. Alright. We love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, we have like 30... What? Seven packs left? Lycanroc Hollow. Alright, we got three of those now. 360 packs left. What's in this one? There's another Cub Fu. Another Spirit Tomb. <laughs> Holy crap. I wonder if I can trade off Spirit Tomb. Probably not. Like, who is really out there going, oh my god, I'm so scared of Mad Party. I'm, I gotta start playing Spirit Tomb. Mm, not me. Got a Clubopus or whatever. Club Clubopus. Clubopus. Shaman again. I'm hoping I can trade those off, bro. I'm hoping. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Next pack in. Oh, finally, we got a Zero Aura. There we go. That is one of the big cards I wanted to pull was a Zero Aura. This card is fantastic. Definitely need to pick up a few of these. Probably at least, probably need two of them. So we just need one more now. Um, Yeah, there we go. Got Zero Aura. Definitely one of the cards I needed. 100%. Love to see it. We got another Echoing Horn that's pretty good. All right. Not a bad pack at all. We're definitely picking it up a little bit. For sure. Impact energy, another sauce buck. Okay. All right, there, game. Try to at least get something big in these next couple packs. Maybe? No? Another Heracross. Or Corona. 
What's in this one? Here we go. What's in this pack? Another Echoing Horn's nice. Solar, bruh. The Echoing Horn's good, though. I don't think I need any more than two, to be honest. Like, even if ADP plays it, which it probably will, it'll only play like two. Probably not three. Maybe three. I don't know. Double rare. All right, yo, give me a hit one time. Okay, there we go. We got a hit. And it's a rainbow rare Flannery single strike discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and a stadium play. I mean, it's not the best card on the planet. Honestly, like, Fan of Waves is literally better than this card, technically, but still good. You know what? The hit. That's all that matters. The hit. A hit is a hit. A hit is a hit, you know? So it's still good. Old Cemetery, we got Thwacky. Let's go, we got another hit. We got a Tornadoes V. Decent, not bad. Tornadoes V Max, kind of a meme, but you know, maybe it'll work. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna do a video on like most of the cards in the set, so you'll probably still see Tornadoes in action on my channel. Just saying. Uh, another Old Cemetery. Okay, let's go. Three hits in a row. We got a Sandaconda V. Now, if I'm gonna play Sandaconda V Max, I think I'd still prefer the other Sandaconda V because it does more damage, it has better attacks. This card does have 350 HP, though, or 253, imagine that. No, it's got 250 HP thanks to the ability. So, I mean, it's, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe play one of these and then the other Sandaconda. No, but the other Sandaconda does extra damage. I don't know. No, you're definitely playing the other Sandaconda because that first attack is actually decent with Dojo. Okay, we put on a lot of old cemeteries. Oh, we almost got five in a row, but it made up for it with an Inteleon. We need to get at least four of these. We have well, two so far. It's definitely one of the best cards in the set. Well, one of the best non-Vs. And we got another Lycanroc. I'm going to place it. Seven old cemeteries. If that was past the peak, you'd be balling. All right, we got about 30 ish packs left. We almost have about a quarter of the packs left. Another bayonet. That's our first one we haven't pulled that wasn't a uh, reverse hollow. All right, we're ticking down. We're almost, we're almost, we're almost done. Another Gallade's good. All right, we got a Hattery. How many Melanies do I have? Six. Plus to reverse hollow. It's not bad. Again, Melanie can probably get me a few packs. Let's see how it goes. Another Melanie. All right. River. Ah, another Bayonet. Serena. All right. We got another Cast Form. Probably gonna build a Cast Form deck soon. 347 packs. We have 20 packs remaining. 20 packs left in this video. We've opened up 80 packs. We got an Ampros, Yaw Mask, another Welcoming Lantern. Let's see what we get out of these last 20 packs. Will we get any more big hits? Let's see. All right, there we go. We got a honey. Okay, well, not that great of a card. Draw card, feature points, bench V Pokemon. Again, it's good, but like it'll be better. Pulse rotation, obviously. Right now, it's not that good, but pulse rotation, this could actually be a decent supporter. We'll have to see. It's a hit at least, and that's all that matters. It's just a hit. Another Echoing Horn's nice. All right, another Galarian Sloking Hollow. Got a place out of Echoing Horn now, so that's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Try to get a secret rare or another alternate art Pokemon. That's what I'm really hoping for. All right, there we go. We're in a full art Celebi. There we go. We're back into it. Nice little full art there. It's not a bad art either. I like the like the background colors quite a bit. See what we got here. Another spirit tomb. Jeez, Louise, bro. 342 packs. So yeah, we're nearly done. Yeah, let's try to get a secret rare hit or something. All right, another Malamar is good. Definitely taking. We got a Kakuna. Another old cemetery. Again, that bro, that was Path the Peak. I'd have eight Path the Peaks, bro. I'd have a place at a trade off. Mm. Love to see it. Another Ampharos. That was a pretty bad pack. That was a pretty bad pack. We almost we have what? 12 packs remaining? Yeah, we got 12 packs left. All right, another Cresselia is pretty good. Reverse hollow. How many curlias do we pull? Oh yeah, we got five. All right. We could probably trade one off. Because the card is like that curly is what makes that Garb archetype like click. Um Fall Crystal. All right, we got five of those. It's been a while since we pulled one. Walrein Sloking. All right, it's fine. Here we go. 11 packs remaining. We're going to count this down here to see what we can pull in these last few packs. We got another Articuno. Oh my God, I have four of these now. Sure. Probably going to trade one off, but I will take it for sure. You know. It's all right. Might need to play four and expanded. If you can play Donk. Hey, there we go. Finally got a fifth patch of the peak. Last 10 packs remaining. We got another Porygon. And again, nice little all the artwork there. Yeah, last 10 packs. And we get at least two hits. That's what I'm for, two hits. Okay, another Echoing Horn. Another Ampharos. We got five Echoing Horns. Hoping I can trade off Echoing Horn and Path the Peak for some packs. Brawly. Gallade and Thunderous. Okay. Galley's decent. Galley's decent for sure. Not the worst card ever. Cub Fu. All right, we got finally got a, we got more of those that I needed. 
Agron and Slurpuff. All right, Reverse Hall Slurpuff, best version of it you can get. Try to be, you know, try to keep the positivity flowing. Lady and Lady Ba. Oh, another Weezine we got. Yeah, we got five of those now. All right, here we go. Five packs left. Let's see if we can get a hit in these last five packs. There we go. We got a Path to Peak. Okay, another Cresselia is good. Definitely need at least one more of those probably. Get a play set. Okay, another Melanie. Okay, Scolipede. Sure. 330 packs. Yeah, three packs left, guys. Let's see. Can we get something out of these last three packs to end off this video on a triumphant note? We got another Malamar. We got, what, three of those now? It's pretty good. Yep, two packs left, guys. We got two packs remaining. Second last pack. We got another Path to Peak. All right, the more the merrier. Okay, we got our Hollow Glare and Rodriguez. Sure. Got three of our selling case. And the last pack, guys, of the 100 pack opening. And we get a hit in this very last pack. We do not. We get a Hatterene Hollow. Overall, honestly, decent. You know what? We got some of the big cards we wanted. I wanted to get a Blaziken. Um, I wanted a Zeraora. The big thing is we did get the two Shadow Riders and that Zapdos Arnor. The Shadow Rider Calyrex is an amazing pull because this card is very, very good. It's going to be quite a bit of quite a bit on pubs right now. I might even just trade these off now, to be honest. Um, the only the one interesting thing is we got no... We didn't really get that many basic Vs of the Shadows. We got no Ice Riders. We got no Blaziken Vs. We got to trade for... I got to have to trade for those. Um, this is a hype pull. This is what I'm really happy about, though. That Zapdos Arnor. This is probably going to be the most expensive card that we pulled in the entire pack opening. So, yeah. Overall, I'm impressed. These pulls were actually not bad. I will definitely take these pulls. We got a decent amount of, like, full art supporters. Never mind. We got two of them. Never mind. We did get a lot of playables. Like, we got a few Melanies we can trade off. We got some, uh, got some, we got a Focus we can trade off. We got some Path to Peaks. So, we always got a backpack place at a Path to Peak, which is pretty good. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on the pack opening. Let me know down in the comments what you guys pulled in your 100 packs or Whatever, how many packs you opened up for Chilling Rain. Not 100. Some of you guys can't afford 100 packs. But if you guys did open up any Chilling Rain packs, let me know what the polls were down below. I would love to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for um, tomorrow's video. I'm excited. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to hop on pubs right now. I'm going to get go crazy. And yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace out.